We buckle up our kids to keep them safe in the car, but what about our dogs? And how safe are the harnesses used to protect man's best friend anyway? In a first of its kind crash test, the leading harnesses, the ones most trusted by pet parents, turned dogs into projectiles and even decapitated the test pooch. It was a very gruesome end for that test dog. The Center for Pet Safety won't disclose which harnesses the nonprofit tested out of fear that even fewer people will secure their pets. But she will say that not a single harness passed the test. We tested them to the child safety restraint standard and we experienced a 100% failure rate of those products to protect either the consumer or the dog. And that's a very real concern for consumers. She explains while some manufacturers do claim to do their own testing, there's no government standards, creating an unregulated industry that can be dangerous for drivers, costly for pet owners, and at the very least, painful for your pets. Dr. Kim Haddad says she has seen firsthand what can happen to a pet in a car accident. Broken legs, broken jaws, soft tissue injury, it can be pretty traumatic. Something is probably better than nothing, but again, it's only going to be as good as the manufacturer and the fit and the user application of the product. According to AAA, at least 20% of drivers admit to letting their dog ride in the car like this. We know how distracting this can be, but right now no state requires us to buckle up our best friend. States like New Jersey and Tennessee have proposed bills that could require harnesses, but CPS worries that that is creating a false sense of security, as owners assume if a product is legislated, it meets some kind of safety standard. When it's a mandated product, they equate the harness with the crash-tested child safety seat, and that's a real concern for us. CPS is now calling for standardized testing similar to child safety seats and for lawmakers to educate themselves on safety standards before legislating the restraints. Because as these tests show, legislation alone isn't enough to protect man's best friend or his owner. Rhiannon Alley, CBS 4 News Tonight.